know, this is okay. This is not at all bad. Well, it's amazing what a bit of candlelight can do. Maybe it's not just the candlelight. Rupert must be mad. You know, I almost forgot about him. Well, here's to Barcelona and Olympic gold. Absent friends. You are a sod, Rupee. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we all go upstairs after dinner and play doctors and nurses? Oh, Rupert. Please. Oh, fine. Well, it's just an idea. If you lot won't play, I'm sure Nanny here will. It's out of the question. To my mind, the team cannot accommodate both Campbell Black and Lovell. With great respect, Lady Roxburgh, but I think we should be thinking in terms of horses. I'm I mean, sorry, I... Melise, we are not taking them both. Whatever you say, I have to have a united team. I cannot have any infighting. It's either Campbell Black or Lovell. <laughs> but you know as well as I do, Leonora, Mr Hardy is an Olympic horse. But is Jake Lovell still an Olympic rider? Now. These four dates at Aachen. Jake Lovell needs to win at least three of them, if not all. Now, you have to get the message through to him, please. Well, I would if I knew where to find him. Lobster and champagne. I thought you were broke, Jake. Well, even broken now. Yeah. Thank you. To cheer this place up. God knows it could do with cheering up. But I'm beginning to get quite accustomed to our place. Aren't you? Is any luck with Tori? No. Well, I called the mother this morning. She said she still had no idea where Tori is. Are you sure she believed you? Why did she give me? They're almost asleep. Thank God. I don't know why you'd think Tori wouldn't believe me. Maybe it was just wishful thinking. What do you mean? Nothing, Jake. Forget I said anything. I've had too much champagne. From wine, what sudden friendship springs? You know? No. What I know is in vino veritas. So what was wishful thinking? Let's just say having an idea is one thing. And doing it is quite different. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, Jake. Otherwise, why the lobster and the strawberries and the champagne? I told you, I just wanted to cheer this place up. I don't think so, Jake. And I haven't thought so since the day that you kissed me. I mean, that's what I mean about the idea and everything. I really bought your idea. I, I really thought we could follow through through with this and come out exactly the same as we started. But that's what I thought. I guess that's not what I felt. No. <laughs> that is what I felt. And I'm old enough to know exactly what I think and feel. And that they're two very different things. And boy, are they. <laughs> I'm not sure I dare even ask. Then if you're not sure, Jake, don't ask. You are without doubt the most beautiful woman I've ever seen.
going to be okay. We're both married. When do people feel this way? Feel? How do you, how, how do you know the way I feel? <laughs> how can you kiss someone like that and not feel something great? Helen, you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> I do know what I'm doing, Jake. You see, Jake, I've never really been loved before. Not properly. And ever since that day, when I saw you in the hospital and we talked and then when you kissed me, I knew that you were the one, Jake. I knew that you were the one who could make me happy. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's not me you want. It's not. You just want to be loved. I do just want to be loved, Jake. You're right. But you're the person that I want to be loved by. Please, just be up to me right now. I need you so much, Jake. The house in which Zephyr's family lived was not large, but it was comfortable. While his mother prepared an excellent soup of bananas and chocolate, Zephyr played at hide-and-seek with his brothers. And then Zephyr went to bed and fell fast asleep, which is exactly what you are going to do. You were right. I was obsessed with the idea of revenge. And you think now that by not jumping, by taking yourself out of contention for the Olympics, that'll compensate. By doing the decent thing, somehow everything will fall back into place. While, of course, what you're really doing by getting yourself off the hook is spoiling it for everyone else. Is this your wife? Yes, it is. She died six years ago. She was very beautiful. Oh, look, Jake, go. Do sit down. Look, Jake. What about you and Helen? Well, that's the question I've been asking myself all the way here. But you... you must have both known what you were doing when you bolted. We thought we did. Because we planned it all to make it look as though Helen had run off with me. You see, I knew that would hurt Rupert where it hurts him most, in his stupid pride. But then, having an idea is one thing, and doing it is quite another. So the whole thing was a... was a was a put-up job. You, you mean you engineered this all yourselves? Mm hmm Helen wouldn't leave Rupert. Even though she was practically suicidal, she was so unhappy. She was afraid to leave him. 